The first thing to determine when looking at the sheep heart is which is the anterior surface or the ventral and which is the posterior or the dorsal surface. So if we take a look at the model here, we can see that there is a prominent coronary artery okay, right here that is going right there, okay, going at an angle. Okay, and this is the anterior interventricular branch of the left coronary artery. And what I kind of think of is that it's kind of making a V. Okay, and V is for ventral. Okay, so that's the first thing I look for and determine that that is the anterior surface or the ventral surface of the heart. So here is the actual heart here, and let's take a look and see if we can see that V. Okay, there it is right there. There is that anterior interventricular branch of the left coronary artery, and there is the V. So V is for ventral. Now we know which is the anterior surface of this heart. Another key point is, um, but at this point we haven't really talked about it, is if we look at right here, okay, that is the main um, branch coming off the heart, that is the pulmonary trunk, and you can quite easily see it right here too, and that's always going to be on the um, leading from the anterior or the ventral surface. Here's a look at the uh, posterior or the dorsal surface of the heart. And here what you're seeing is that that coronary artery now is not going on an angle, but it's more going straight up and down here. Okay, so you can really tell the difference from the anterior and the uh, posterior. This uh, particular branch is the posterior interventricular branch of the right coronary artery. And not quite as easy to see here, but you can kind of see it right here. Okay, so again, anterior, ventral, posterior, dorsal. So now that we know which is the ventral surface, we can now determine which is the left and right side of the heart. If this is an anterior view, we now know that this is going to be the right and this is going to be the left. Okay, so again, on the heart, right and left. Let's follow the path that deoxygenated blood is going to take returning from the body. It's going to be coming in the superior vena cava and the inferior, which we just can't see in this view of the heart, coming into the right atrium. We'll be going through the tricuspid valve and then into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, it will then be pumped out of the heart via the pulmonary trunk and then the left and right pulmonary arteries. Again, the other ones are on the back here. Now looking at the sheep heart, the deoxygenated blood returning from the body would be coming in the superior in vena cava, which you can't quite see because of the view. Also the inferior, which we'll look at in a, in a minute when we look at the post posterior or the dorsal view of the heart. Okay, coming in, going into the right, right atria, going through the tricuspid valve, right ventricle, and then right here is the pulmonary trunk taking the deoxygenated blood to the pulmonary arteries, which will then go to the lungs to be oxygenated. Now looking at the dorsal view, we can clearly see the superior and inferior vena cava. Here it is. There is the superior vena cava, deoxygenated blood. There is the inferior vena cava. Here it is, superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. Once again, this is the dorsal view, and we can see the superior vena cava, and here is the inferior vena cava, returning blood to the right atrium. What I also want to point out here is that this is the posterior view, so the pulmonary trunk would have come to the dorsal side and then branches into left and right pulmonary arteries. Remembering that this is a dorsal view, so the left and right have now switched. Okay, so this would be the right pulmonary artery, and this is the left pulmonary artery. Remembering that this is the only exception to the rule that arterial blood carries oxygenated um, blood. Once the blood has been oxygenated at the lungs, it will then return to the heart via the pulmonary veins. And remembering again, this is the exception to the rule that all veins are deoxygenated. You are going to have the right pulmonary veins and not quite seen here, but you would also have 
the left pulmonary veins. Again, noting the left and right because this is a dorsal view. So the oxygenated blood comes back into, right here, into the left atria. It is a bit difficult with the sheep heart to determine of the two oxygenated vessels, which one is the aorta and which one is the pulmonary vein. Well, if we're looking at this little flap right here, okay, there's one there and there's one there. Those are called the auricles, and those are just um, extra little flaps that can hold a reserve of blood um, should the blood volume increase in the heart. So if we take a look at that, and now remembering that this is an anterior view, the ventral view, so in that case, this is going to be the right, and this is going to be the left. So how to determine that this is the pulmonary um, vein is that it's going to be going into the left atria. So there it is, right there. That is the pulmonary vein returning blood from the lungs. Here is the dorsal view, again, left and right have switched. And we can see here, this is the deoxygenated blood returning from the lungs via the pulmonary vein. Blood returning from the lungs via the pulmonary vein will then go into the left atria through the bicuspid valve and then into the left ventricle. It then leaves the heart, and it's difficult to see in, in the sheep heart view here, it's going to go up and out the aorta. Okay, on the model here, here is going to be the left ventricle. It goes up and out the aorta. That's the aortic arch right there. Here is a superior view looking at all of the vessels. So let's follow the path of blood. It is going to come from the superior and inferior vena cavas into the right atrium, go to the right ventricle, then be pumped out the pulmonary trunk to the lungs. Okay. Oxygenated blood then returns from the lungs via the pulmonary vein, go to the left atria, left ventricle, and then pumped out the aorta. This is just a major branch of the aorta. Taking a look at the frontal section of the heart model, let's just try to determine what view we're looking at here. We're going to be looking at a, um, an anterior view, the ventral view of the heart. So that makes this the right and this the left. And here is the septum that divides the left and the right. Now I want you to pay attention to the thickness of the myocardium in the right and the left. Okay, not so pronounced in this, in this model here, but you can really look at the difference in the sheep heart. Okay, so there's the septum. And now look at the wall in the right compared to the left. Much thicker in the left because it has to be a much stronger muscle to pump blood to the body versus just to the lungs. So when you're looking at a section, determine where the thickest wall is and that will be the left side of the heart. Once again, let's follow the path of deoxygenated blood coming in the superior vena cava into the right atria. It would then be going through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle and then back up out the semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk and then the pulmonary arteries. So on the sheep heart, we're not necessarily seeing the vena cava here. Um, and we're not actually even seeing the atria because the section wasn't quite done so that you could see that, but the right atria would be there. Okay, here you can slightly see the tricuspid valve, and then here would be the right ventricle. It is going to go up and out the uh, pulmonary semilunar valve and out the pulmonary trunk, which again you're not seeing in this particular section. Let's follow the path that the oxygenated blood takes coming back to the heart from the lungs. We're not seeing the pulmonary veins in this particular view of the heart model. However, they would be coming in here to the left atria, going through the bicuspid or the mitral valve into the left ventricle. They are then going to go up and out, which again, you can't quite see here. There would be the aortic semilunar valve back in there and then out the aorta. Okay, on the sheep heart, Okay, be coming in the pulmonary veins coming right here into the left atria. There's a nice clear view of the bicuspid or the mitral valve. Okay, 
comes down, and then it's going to go out, and you can slightly see the semilunar valve there into the aorta. Here's an inferior view just so that we can see those um, semilunar valves. So right and left, so this is going to be the uh, tricuspid valve going from the right atrium to the right ventricle. Here is the bicuspid or the mitral valve going from the left atrium to the left ventricle. So here it is right here. This would be the pulmonary semilunar valve and this would be the aortic semilunar valve. So oxygenated blood is coming in through the um, AV valve and then going back out the semilunar valve. On the left side of the heart, the blood would be coming in and then out. Here's a nice section of the left side of the heart showing the valves. We know that this is the left side of the heart because of the thick myocardium on that side. So if we take a look at this now, we can see that the oxygenated blood coming back from the heart would be going from the left atria through the bicuspid or mitral valve, okay, and then goes back up out right here, and now you can nicely see right there is the semilunar valve leading to the aorta. So here is the frontal section that's been flipped open. Now it gets a little bit complicated here and you have to be able to appreciate which is which side. So the best way to do this again is to identify the side that has the thicker myocardium that is always going to be the left and here the thinner side will be the right. Okay, so these two diagrams, or not these two diagrams, these two dissections are actually opposite to one another. So let's just again take a look at the path of blood flowing through the heart. Okay, so we would have the superior vena cava, though not seeing the inferior, coming into the right atrium, going through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Okay, it would then be going up and out, as you can see here, going up and out the pulmonary trunk leading to the pulmonary arteries. Now granted we're not really seeing the, uh, the rest of that extension out of the heart um, in this particular view. So once again, left, right, right, left, following the path that oxygenated blood takes coming back into the heart, we will have the pulmonary vein going to the left atrium, here we have the mitral or bicuspid valve, and it's going to go down and then come back up, out the pulmonary semilunar valve and into the arch of the aorta. Okay, you can see the same thing here on the other side. It would be coming in here to the left atria, through the bicuspid valve, into the left ventricle, and then up and out the aorta. So in summary, superior inferior vena cava to the right atrium through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle out the pulmonary semilunar valve to the pulmonary trunk and to the pulmonary arteries. Oxygenated blood returning not seen here pulmonary veins into the left atrium through the bicuspid or mitral valve into the left ventricle and then up and out, which you're not quite seeing there, the semilunar valve, the aortic semilunar valve, and then out the aorta. On the sheep brain, not necessarily seeing it here, okay, the vena cava coming into the right atrium, which would just be behind there, going through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, and then up and out the pulmonary trunk, which would be seen on the other side there, going to the lungs, oxygenated blood returning via the pulmonary veins into the left atrium through the bicuspid or mitral valve into the left ventricle, and then going up through the aortic semilunar valve out the aorta. When I just listened to this, I just realized that I said, when we take a look at the sheep brain, well, okay, obviously, I, I hope I know the difference between the brain and the heart, and I'm sure that you do too, and you just realized that was a mistake. Oh boy.